For more than five decades, there's been a special place in the Twin Cities to spark imagination and important conversations. The Children's Theater Company adapts classic children's stories into beautiful, playful, and creative works of art for audiences young and old. Autumn Ness is a big part of that stage magic. She's entertained audiences <laughs> for 22 seasons. It's great to see you. Congratulations. Thank Cute, not Welcome. too shabby for 22 seasons yeah, for this old great. lady. And with your husband, nonetheless, which with you know. With my husband, about. yes. Yeah. Reed and I have been company members for the same amount of time at Children's Theater Company. I have played his mother more often than I have <laughs> oh, played his really wife. plays mine every night on the 10 o'clock news. <laughs> right? You, you understand yeah, what it's I certainly like. certainly do. Yeah. So we've been able to, to share that with not just the two of us, but as we've had our kids, we've been able to bring our boys into this life and into this theater world. And uh, hopefully it doesn't make them grow up and in any way sort of strange. Uh, <laughs> we hope mom and dad dressing up in different outfits and costumes is a good thing for them to see. Are they into fun. acting? Do they get the one acting of bump? them is. Okay. And one of them's happy just to observe and to comment on our performances. Well, speaking of, when we look at Corduroy, yes. we see you doing the security guard gig. And I mean, you're all over the stage. It looks like a ton of fun. I mean, I, I love your enthusiasm in general, mm -hmm. but this looks like it's perfect for you. This this show is a blast, but it is a workout. I do at the end of the day sometimes feel like I might be getting too old for this, <laughs> but it's not only my workout. Dean Holt, who plays our Corduroy, longtime Children's Theater Company member, uh, is such a physical phenomena in this show. So we give as good as we can to each audience. We have our student audiences in the morning, so 750 school kids ready to be unleashed on the show and, and in their field trip. And then at night we have the families and the grandparents who bring their grandkids and make it a ritual to come to Children's Theater Company. Uh, so we hope everybody just gets something out of seeing a live art performance. You talk about corduroy, people may be familiar with the story, they may prejudge mm. it as like, my kids are too old, that might be a little, you know. But you said that it's actually more complex well, than this, people are thinking. This book, which was certainly on my bookshelf when I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, came out in 1968 by Don Freeman. And he had a very intelligent motto for creating art for children and writing for children. He said, simplicity, not simple-mindedness. And that's where we work from at Children's Theatre Company. You want to take a, a big concept or a big emotion and you want to make it simple, clear, without dumbing it down or without preaching. Kids aren't stupid. They know when something isn't legit, when it isn't smart, when you're not telling the truth. And that's what we want to be doing. We want to be making sure we're presenting them with something honest, something entertaining, something that is uh, boiled down, an important message that's given in a way that, that they can enjoy and share with their families and talk about on the car ride home, mm -hmm. read, go home, read the book, make their own version of the play. And so Don Freeman really meshes with our hope for the show and what we hope to bring for our audiences. Yeah, that's all great stuff. Uh, people might recognize you if they go, well, I've seen this lady before. We, we did a news story that you happen to be in because your house burned down, you and your husband. Uh, how are things going? Well, and we're so sorry. I guess thank I should start you. With that. I don't have to tell you. No one gives you a heads up when you're going to have a life changing day. Yeah. It just happens. And that a uh, month ago, it just happened and our lives changed. And we've had our hands held every step of the way. Uh, we walked out of the house, my husband and I, we ran out of the house uh, without so much as shoes on our feet and coats on our backs. And we had somebody meet us every step of the way to give us what we needed in the moment, where, where we needed to sleep that night, clothes, food, a roof over our head. And now we continue to be given those things from not just our families and our friends, but from our theatrical community, from the community at large. So we're rebuilding now. <laughs> our house is currently a skeleton and empty. And they're reusing parts of the house. And yeah. they're reusing parts of the house. And we, in the fall, sort of generally we've been told, we'll be back home with our two boys, with our dog, and everyone's okay, and that's the best you can hope for when those days happen. Sure. Yeah, we're happy for you. Yeah, we're happy on that and happy about Corduroy, so have a great run. Thank you Thanks so for, much. For, uh, check out Autumn Ness. You can see her in Corduroy now through April 2nd at the Children's Theater Company in Minneapolis. If you've never been, it's great fun. Uh, tickets start at $15. This show is perfect for children ages four and up, but as you heard, it's got a message for everyone. Mm -hmm. We have details at wcco.com slash links.